Hi, uh, um, this is uh, not really a review because I'm not doing that normally. I'm just here to show you uh, the new Asus UL30. Uh, this is the model with the SU2300 CD-ROM dual core, 3 gig of RAM and 320 gig of hard drive. Um, it's a 13.3 inch monitor. Um, I'm gonna boot it up for you. Uh, it's got a glossy screen, which I don't like. It's gonna have a matte uh, protector soon. Uh, the first thing I've done when I bought the laptop, it was 3.99 uh, from Car Phone Warehouse whatsoever UK, and I just installed Ubuntu on it. It works really good. I tried this. That, well, no, Vista and the 7, sorry, can you used to do the name? Um, tried Windows 7 uh, for let's say 10 minutes, um, but didn't really like it. So, installed this one. Uh, I don't know if you can see, might be bad to show, but screen quality is really good. I really like the screen. It's awesome and even angles are not that bad I don't know if you can see that properly the side angles are not that bad I think the worst one is when you yeah, look from the top otherwise I find the monitor very useful uh, very usable uh, sorry for my English it's crap um, the keyboard is really nice um, I don't have any major issues with Ubuntu. I managed to get things working without any bigger problems. Uh, the system runs really smooth. It's not really something you would expect from an ultra low voltage processor. Um, I've done a few operations on it, running Wireshark, doing multitasking didn't have any problems running open office other things in the background works absolutely good as far as I know and I've checked uh, battery life uh, pretty cool um, apparently it's been charged first charge I made I got um, oh no you won't be able to see it properly I think or maybe you will six hours 25 minutes and 93 percent. I'm not. I know, but maybe that's not the best uh, you can actually get. But hey, I'm still happy with it. Uh, it's very slim. It's really slim. I was really impressed with it. And yeah, I think that's all. It doesn't have an optical drive. Has a HDMI output. Haven't checked that yet. But people say it works without a problem and yeah the laptop's really cool um, it's really worth the £400 I had a uh, Samsung NC10 which I really liked um, but I think I liked this one much better but Samsung had a matte screen what was really good I find it really much better than a glossy one still I'm quite impressed with the quality of this one uh, as probably you've seen it's very 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 slim here really slim so oops sorry this one's gonna so yeah it's a very good laptop if you're looking for a portable one and I'm a student and looking for that kind of thing uh, took me some time to choose one and yeah I went for an ASUS 400 pounds so yeah it's very good it has the um, wireless N if anyone's interested in that I'm not really bothered um, about running Ubuntu or any Linux I, I'm a Ubuntu fan that I like when it just works and um, there are a few instructions on the internet quite simple how to make, make the wireless not lose connection to work out the stream brightness not not really horrible things to do, it's just few glitches there, few glitches here. Um, the touchpad doesn't maybe support, or maybe I don't know how to do it, and I'm not bothered because the gesture thing, and the scrolling, whatever, I'm not overly worried about that. 
I didn't even expect that to work and I'm not, I was never using this before so now I'm totally not interested in that feature so if you really want to buy this laptop it's really worth the price the quality is really good it's not yet in warm I didn't do any battery yet sustain tests because that's not the purpose I'll leave that to professionals and companies or the YouTube people that do it do all the tests they play it on the laptops I'm not here to do that I'm just here to show that anyone who's thinking of it and installing Ubuntu on it it's not a big deal but some people like Windows 7 my mate has it I didn't like I found it quite annoying uh, especially uh, there was one antivirus that got into the system to get him out. He was complaining, he wanted, wanted to be paid, blah 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 blah, lots of crap. So I just decided to remove Windows 7 the first the first day I got it. And I'm really happy with my Ubuntu. And I even trooted my Snap project, so it's a 64-bit Ubuntu by the way, sorry. And yeah hope that was a bit helpful maybe for someone I don't know if you have questions try to ask I might be able to answer so yeah that's all for today night